Hi friends! Today we will learn about pure substances and mixtures. So let's start. Let's first revise what we learned in our last section. There are 118 types of substances that cannot be further broken down into simpler substances and they are listed in the table known as the periodic table. This is the periodic table, and all the known elements or types of matter are listed in this table. These are all the elements. Every element has been given a symbol. Ca stands for calcium, Cu stands for copper, and I stands for nickel. O stands for oxygen, and so on and so forth. And every element has the same types of atoms only. For example, oxygen is made up of the element oxygen. That is, oxygen only has molecules of oxygen. And each oxygen molecule is denoted as O2, which means each oxygen molecule has two atoms of oxygen. Oxygen is an element that has the symbol O, and the formula of oxygen is O2, which means each molecule of oxygen has two atoms of oxygen in it, and you cannot break down an oxygen molecule further. Another example is water. Water is made up of two elements, oxygen and hydrogen, and each water molecule is denoted as H2O which means each water molecule has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So now we know what are elements. There are the 118 known substances that cannot be further broken down chemically into simpler substances. And everything is made up of one or more elements. Now let's learn what are compounds. Compounds consist of atoms of different elements in a fixed ratio. For example, oxygen and hydrogen are elements and the water is a compound of hydrogen and oxygen. And in each molecule of water, there is always two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. And in each molecule of water, there is always going to be two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So water is not an element, but a compound. Let's have some more examples of compounds. Sodium chloride. It has two types of elements. Elements of sodium and elements of chlorine. And each molecule of sodium chloride is written as NaCl, because each molecule of sodium chloride has one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine. Water, or H2O. Water is a compound because it has two types of atoms, atoms of hydrogen and atoms of oxygen. And each molecule of water has two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Carbon dioxide, or CO2. Carbon dioxide is a gas that is a compound because it has two types of atoms, atoms of carbon and atoms of oxygen. And each molecule of carbon dioxide has one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. Nitrogen oxide. Nitrogen oxide is a gas that is a compound. It has two types of atoms, atoms of nitrogen and atoms of oxygen. Each molecule of nitrogen oxide has one atom of nitrogen and one atom of oxygen. Hydrogen chloride, or HCl. Each molecule of HCl has one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine. Now let's learn the relationship between elements, compounds, and atoms. Elements. There are 118 types of substances that cannot be further broken down into simpler substances, and they are known as elements, and they are listed in the periodic table. Each element consists of the smallest unit of matter, which is called as the atom, and each atom of element consists of all the characteristics of that element. 
Two or more atoms of the same or different kind chemically bonded to each other as known as molecules. Molecules that have two or more types of atoms bonded to each other are known as compounds. Now we have revised what we have learned in the last section. Let's learn what are pure substances, mixtures, and compounds. Pure substances. The substances which are filled entirely with elements or compounds of the same type. For example, water is entirely made up of the compound H2O all over. No other compound is there, so clean water is a pure substance and consists of only molecules of H2O. Here we have some other substances. This is the mixture of sugar and water. So is it a pure substance? No, it is not a pure substance. It has two types of compounds. Water molecules and sugar molecules, which are different compounds. Another we have is a cup of coffee. Is it a pure substance? No, coffee has milk, water, sugar, coffee. So it has compounds of milk, compounds of water, compounds of sugar, compounds of coffee. So it is not a pure substance. Wood. Now, is wood a pure substance? No, wood is made up of different compounds. So wood is not a pure substance. Diamond. Is this a pure substance? Yes, diamond is made up of all the same types of molecules. So diamond is a pure substance. It only has one type of molecule. Let's have some more examples of pure substances. Quartz. Is this a pure substance? Yes, it only has one type of molecule, which is of quartz. Gold is also a pure substance, which has only molecules of gold. Iron is a pure substance, which only has molecules of iron. So, pure substances can be solid, liquid, or gas. It's just that pure substances all have the same atoms or molecules. An example of pure substance is pure water. Pure gold, pure copper, pure iron. So, now we know what are pure substances. Let's learn what mixtures are. Mixture Mixtures are the physical combination of two or more pure substances. For example, salt solution is a mixture of two pure substances. Salt is a pure substance. Water is a pure substance. We are mixing two pure substances to make a mixture. Here we have examples of mixtures that have two or more pure substances. Common mixtures of food are oil and water, honey and tea, milk and chocolate, coffee and cream, oatmeal and raisin, cereals and milk, chocolate and water, cake ingredients, sugar and tea, sugar and water, sand and water, orange juice and apple juice, lime, lime water. So, these are examples of mixtures. Other common mixtures are smog, which is a mixture of smoke and fog. Air is also a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and many other gases. Cement is a mixture of sand, water, and gravel. The ocean water is a mix of water, salt, and many other kinds of minerals. These were the examples of mixtures. So now we know mixtures are the physical combination of two or more pure substances. Now let's learn the types of mixtures. Mixtures can be of two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. Let's learn first about the homogeneous mixtures or solutions. When more than one pure substance is blended uniformly so that they are indistinguishable from each other, they are known as homogeneous mixtures. Common examples are salt water solution, 
all types of alloys and soft drinks. In all these types of mixtures, the ingredients are blended so uniformly that they are indistinguishable from each other. In a salt water solution, the amount of salt is the same in every portion of water, so you can't see that there is more salt anywhere in the solution. In all types of alloys, the quantities of ingredients in every part of the alloy is the same. In a soft drink, for example Coca-Cola, every sip has the same taste because of its homogeneous mixture, that is all the ingredients are mixed together uniformly. Quantity of ingredients is the same in every sip, this is why it's a homogeneous mixture or solution. Now let's learn what is a heterogeneous mixture. It is a mixture of two or more pure substances, not mixed in a uniform manner, and the original substance retains all their chemical properties. For example, a mixture of sugar and sand forms a heterogeneous mixture, as the proportion of the components of sugar and sand in the mixture is not the same throughout the sample. Now let's have another example. Wood. Wood has varieties of color and toughness, so it is not a homogeneous mixture of substances, or the proportion of various components is not the same throughout the wood, so the wood is also an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Here we have another example, pizza. Is pizza a homogeneous mixture of various substances? No, pizza is a heterogeneous mixture, as various components are mixed non-uniformly, or the proportion of the various components is not the same everywhere in the pizza. So friends, today we learned what is a pure substance, what is a mixture, and types of mixtures, and much more.